I'm Mick Garris, and today we're going to talk about Sherlock Holmes and Porky's. Murder by Decree is a movie that was not at all characteristic of its director's oeuvre. Bob Clark had made teen comedies and horror movies, but never something like this. A delicious period thriller filled with Academy Award-level actors and a level of wit and sophistication that took us by surprise. It's a very long and very blurry trailer, so let's jump right in. This trailer for Murder by Decree does not do a very good job of setting up just what a special film it is. It is flatly cut and devoid of the dynamics of the movie, which is really incredibly suspenseful with a great sense of humor and a deeply emotional core. That's not something you often find in a Sherlock Holmes movie, but this is a different kind of Sherlock Holmes. In the 1970s, new Sherlock Holmes books and movies that were not based on Arthur Conan Doyle's famous detective novels came suddenly into vogue. Movies were made that did not gloss over Holmes' drug addictions and did not whitewash this hero. They were reboots, really rethinking reimaginings of what this literary masterpiece began. It's said that there have been more adaptations of Sherlock Holmes than any other character in movie history, but these were decidedly a new generation of Sherlock Holmeses from the Basil Rathbone, Nigel Bruce productions that Universal cranked out in the 30s and 40s. It was Billy Wilder's remarkable private life of Sherlock Holmes from 1970 that kicked off the trend. That film was not a success at the box office, but it surely inspired Nicholas Meyer, yes, that Nicholas Meyer, who wrote and directed Star Trek II to write the novel and later the screenplay, The 7% Solution, which paired up Sherlock Holmes with Sigmund Freud in 1976. Roger Moore starred in Sherlock Holmes Goes to Washington in the same year, and even Gene Wilder got into the game in Sherlock Holmes's Smarter Brother. It was only a matter of time before Sherlock Holmes met Jack the Ripper in Murder by Decree to close out the decade in 1979. Jack the Ripper's heyday was 1888, which bisected perfectly with the Holmes era. With a script by John Hopkins, who wrote the highly regarded British miniseries Smiley's People, the director was a complete surprise. Bob Clark had made his bones on the no-budget horror thrillers Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, Dead of Night, and the movie that, so-called, inspired Halloween, Black Christmas. His follow-up to Murder by Decree? Yes, you guessed it, the 1980 teen raunch comedy Porky's, which made Clark a very wealthy man. And later still, he made the wonderful holiday perennial A Christmas Story. But Murder by Decree is special, and just one look at the incredible cast shows that. Christopher Plummer is a perfect Holmes, regal, intelligent, flawed. A stranger to that emotion called love, and yet, and yet, he finds it here and it's heartbreaking. James Mason is the perfect Dr. Watson with all due respect to Nigel Bruce. His squash a fellow's pee moment is one of my favorites in the film. But Plummer and Mason are merely the tip of the iceberg here. The cast includes David Hemmings, Anthony Quayle, Sir John Gielgud, Susan Clark, jean vier Bujol, Donald Sutherland, and many, many more. This is a film that takes itself seriously, a Canadian-British co-production that is gorgeous to behold. The production values at the Twickenham, Elstree, and Shepperton studios and location work in and around London are lush and rich, and the commitment of cast and crew is evident. This is a top-notch production that never received the attention and respect it deserves. I worked for a while with Bob Clark on the Amazing Stories TV series when he directed an episode, and also worked on a script with him that he was going to direct called The Plane Wrap Movie, which was an anthology that spoofed different popular film genres, but it never got off the ground. Bob Clark died at the age of 67 in 2007. He had a lot more success in the comedy genre with the Porky's movies and things like Rhinestone and the Baby Geniuses films, but never again attempted something like Murder by Decree, my favorite Sherlock Holmes movie. Yeah. 